I love the two comfort dogs. I think uh, they're a great asset to the schools and the police department. I think that the comfort dogs are helpful for students and they enjoy them. Um, it's like helps them calm down and deal with their anxiety and then they can go back and go to class. I love having them here. I love having them here. My former school had three and had the full run of the office and the guidance suite. Um, to me, you can't underestimate the power of having dogs here. You know, in many ways, uh, we have students who may not even feel comfortable coming to school, but uh, with Cooper and Rusty here, they feel they can come in from the door, so. I think the comfort dogs have been a great addition to the school because there's a lot of kids that feel stressed and anxious when they're in school or they have a big test they're about to take and sometimes it's nice to go visit the comfort dog so that they can relax and be distracted and not worry about school. I think, I think all the kids seem to really like Cooper a lot. My favorite experience involving the dogs was probably the day we picked up Cooper because there's a lot of excitement um, in my house and also here at, in school and uh, at the police department. So I think picking him up and showing him as a puppy to everyone was a really cool experience. Oh gosh. Um, actually, one of my favorite experiences that happened yesterday with one of the dogs is that we were in our crisis meeting, which is a meeting of uh, facilities department, uh, police department, and many members of our school. And as I was talking, I felt this breathing in my right ear, and then I started to feel a little wet kiss and I looked over and Cooper had gotten himself up on top of the seat and had joined our conversation in the committee room. So Cooper was actually right next to me. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, they add a lot of laughs. I like when Cooper comes into my room and I have carpet in my room. And so he's, he runs in and he smells everything and there's a bench in my room and then he jumps up on the bench and he, guy puts his front paws up on the bench and he smells everything and he looks for food um, so I like when he visits that's probably like my best memory is when he's comes in and visits and all the kids like love seeing him in the room he's a good distraction oh gosh um, the cafeteria so it can eat up food off the ground um, especially Cooper <laughs> and I don't know I, I would say probably um, I'd say the counseling office, although Cooper tends to at times uh, want his privacy. And so if you asked Cooper, I think he'd probably say the uh, car so he could sleep. Um, probably Officer Lewis's office. I know that he likes Mr. Zaya a lot. Mr. Zaya is the athletic director, and I know that he really likes. Mr. Zaya. So I sometimes see the dog follow Mr. Zaya to the field house. So it's really cute. He'll like go down the stairs with Mr. Zaya and follow him and it's, it's, it's fun to see. Um, I see Rusty sometimes in the building. Rusty seems like a little bit more of an outgoing dog than Cooper and I feel like um, it's fun to see Rusty come to the high school because Rusty spends most of his time, you know, in the elementary, yeah, in middle school. Right. So it's nice to see um, him come and visit the high school and it's fun to see them, him and Cooper, wrestle in the yeah, hallway. <laughs> Cooper's favorite room is probably a toss up between Miss Camber's room, Guidance, and uh, Miss Bailey's room because they always give him treats. Oh gosh, um, I think I think each other. Quite frankly, if you've, if you've ever seen them play, they, they're very close and they will wrestle for hours at a time. Um, I don't know Cooper's Cooper's favorite toy. Gosh, he um, I got him a pheasant when he first started here, a stuffed pheasant. He seemed to like that one. Um, he likes to play tug of war. Got a couple ropes over there on the other side, out in the main office. <laughs> Cooper likes this ball at the house that's like this big rubber, I don't know what you call it, like a hollow type ball that he loves to chase around. That's his favorite toy. I don't know what Rusty's favorite toy is. Rusty likes anything that's put in front of him, so he's not picky, but Cooper kind of is. 
The only one that I can think of, the toy, the favorite, is that I, Cooper used to have like this duck, I think. But maybe it was a while ago. Maybe not a, like a, maybe it was like a, a goose. I don't know. It was this kind of long rubber toy that he used Swan to. Yeah, something. yeah. So I, that's what I think of um, when I think of his toys. I haven't seen him with a lot of toys because I usually see him walking around the hallways. But sometimes he's chasing a toy. A bone. Uh, less smiles, less smiles. Um, you know, it's uh, every morning I stand with Cooper as we welcome people into the building. You know, and, oh excuse me, and Officer Lewis. I should I should mention Officer Lewis, who's become really the guy with the leash. Sit, sit. Okay. Um, he's been demoted a few times, but I I think when you watch uh, students interact with the dogs and. You know, not everybody's a dog person, right? I get that, but um, but by and large, I think it makes schools a happier, more welcoming place. If I if I didn't have Cooper, I think the school year would be a little less exciting, and I think uh, there definitely wouldn't be as many kids coming to visit me if I didn't have Cooper. I think a lot of kids have have look forward to seeing the dogs, and I think it would be. Um, I think everyone would get used to not seeing the dogs, but I think kids like seeing the dogs and look forward to seeing Cooper and Rusty on a regular basis. And I think Cooper brings a lot of joy to kids, even if they just see Cooper in the hallway. And I think that's nice. So not just kids that go and hang out in the office where Cooper is, I think it's nice to see, you know, when you see a student walking in the hallway and then you see them, um, you know, go, oh, Cooper, and, you know, and, and yeah. smile. And it's, it's nice to see their face relax and smile. And so I think it would be, I think a lot of people would be bummed if we did not have um, Cooper and Rusty in the school. I'm not sure. I think it's been like a really good addition for students. Um, definitely would it be a place for students to go if the dogs weren't there. Yeah. Um, I know Cooper stays here, Rusty mostly at Parker and Coolidge and then the elementary schools. But um, sometimes Rusty will come here when, especially if Cooper's not here, Rusty will come um, for a visit. Or sometimes when they are here, they're both here. Um, but mainly I think Cooper's just here. I don't know if Cooper goes to other schools. So uh, I believe Rusty goes K-8, um, kindergarten to eighth grade across the middle schools and elementary. Uh, Cooper is predominantly here. Um, so he's, he's kind of like our RMHS quasi mascot. I just know that they're at RMHS. <laughs> so Cooper works here at the high school and Rusty actually covers both middle schools and the elementary schools.